sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele and i am back with another recipe we're making this super delicious slimy or drawy okra stew recipe that you would love so i began by adding some meat tribe i also added some chopped onions one spice blend cube all purpose seasoning and some salt to taste i'll stir everything together cover it up and bring it to a boil once it boils we'll cook it halfway and i've already gone ahead to pre-cook some cow foot we'll go ahead and add that To check on our meat it is halfway cooked our cow foot is also halfway cooked so i'll add that add some chopped habanero pepper and stir everything together i first brought the cow foot to a boil got rid of that water before seasoning it a bit with some all-purpose seasoning and cooking it halfway so i'll cover it and allow everything cook until nice and tender to my preference in a separate part i'll add in some palm oil to that i'll add some sliced onions and i'll fry this until it is translucent or for about five minutes we are back our onions are looking good we'll add in some chopped tomatoes i'm using two fresh tomatoes that i've deseeded because i want my stew to be nice and slimy so that i'll add one spice blend cube and some chopped habanero pepper i want this to be nice and spicy please use it to your taste i'll stir and allow this cook until the tomato softens up beautifully like this i then go ahead and season it with some shrimp powder you may use beef chicken mushroom whichever agrees with you and i have all those recipes already on my channel back to check on the meat it is almost done but my wele was kind of soft so I didn't add it in the beginning so I'll add it now and allow it cook for an additional 10 minutes at this point our stew is ready so I'm going to go ahead and add in all the protein that it can take it was a lot of protein so I'm not going to use it all I'll use just enough for the amount of okra that I will be adding I'll go ahead and stir this and allow it simmer on low heat for about 10 minutes while I go ahead and cook my okra don't forget to add the stock from cooking the meat it is your flavor as you notice up until this point I did not add any salt I'll stir and taste and then adjust the seasoning or salt if needed I usually use just enough salt in steaming the meat so I don't have to add any but sometimes you would have to adjust once you add the okra in a separate part I brought some water to a boil and I'll add in my okra and ginger paste stir everything together and I added about a pinch of baking soda but I lost the clip it is fine you don't have to add it I want the draw so it was just a pinch not too much because too much baking soda will darken your okra and we do not want that this is perfect as soon as it comes to a boil it is ready to be added into our stew yes oh my goodness as i said the only thing i'm missing is crabs if you add crabs to this then you've landed in the galant just like that look at this it looks absolutely delicious and at this point my kids and i couldn't wait to jump in we give everything a stir until our okra and stew is well combined by then, it'll stop boiling and then you bring it back to a boil. As soon as it boils, your stew is ready. If you cook it any longer, you're going to lose the draw or slime as most of you call it. Now, if you don't want the draw or slime, do not add any baking soda and use more tomatoes. When it comes to okra, soups and stews, the more tomatoes you use, the less slime you will have or the longer you cook your okra, 
the less slime you would have. We do not want to overcook the okra for it to lose its nutrients. And we are back. As you can see, our okra stew is looking so good. It just came to a boil. I allowed it to simmer for about two minutes. And that is it. We are going to turn the fire off, set it aside. We will be enjoying this delicious okra stew with some semolina fufu or bangkun whichever way you want to call it i usually add a little bit of salt to this when i'm making it as bangkun and no salt at all when i'm using it for fufu okay so choose your choice it tastes really really good and it goes so well with it i already have a full step-by-step -step tutorial on it i'll leave the link in the description box so do not forget to check it out and that is ready so all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy so wash your hands and join me yes this is best enjoyed with our natural fork <laughs> yes you're not do you have a picky eater at home have you tried okra stew or soup for them please do and come back to testify because no kid will turn away a delicious okra stew like this i was one so i know thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe if you do share pictures with me on instagram and i will be so happy to share it on my story until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys Ske onamini ochemi suite maha butu bayo. Kwe adi ana tolo bono nge kemi bota kemi fish a sweet a jelly mbao mami obono. Continental food madam, food madam, international food captain.